Dara, tough, tough game today. But when you came on, you seemed to really be expressing yourself. Yeah, um, I think I've got in the habit the last couple of weeks coming off the bench to make an impact. Um, I suppose coming on against tired legs as a winger, it's sometimes it works in your favour. They, the tired legs, you can just run at them. Um, but that being said, I think we probably should have got going more earlier in the game. I think it took us too long to kind of get up to full speed. No, but in that last period, you showed what you'd been doing for the, most of the season so far as a team. It just, as you say, you didn't get there. No, and for whatever reason, sometimes it can be the look of a new manager bounce of a party. It always seems to be the case that the manager gets sacked and they go out and they perform well for whatever reason. So maybe we got the blunt of that. But uh, yeah, it's been the case recently. We've just started sluggish in the first half. And listen, if there's a direct answer, we'd fix it right now and do, and do it. But obviously, we need to figure out what, what's going on because um, we can't keep coming out in the first half and just be sixes and sevens and, eight and turn on at eight and nines and in the second half. So we need to keep it going for full 90. What was Lee's reaction at half time to you? Because we could see he was desperate to get down that tunnel. Um, I stayed out sometimes at half time when, we're, when we play, play poorly, better off being out, in half, being out in the pitch. So I, I was out at half time getting warm. But I just, I can imagine you'd say, look, boys, you've quality in this dressing room. Just go out and perform, express yourselves, and you're well capable of winning this game. That's probably what he said if I'm based off previous times when I'm being in there. But look. Um, I think whatever he said did work. We got a reaction in the second half. We didn't win. We didn't draw, which ultimately is the, the bottom line, which is disappointing. And yet again, another tough game, just a few days away on Friday night up at Wraith. Yeah, that's the beauty of the championship, isn't it? One tough game goes out the window and then the next one comes straight at you. I don't think there's a, been an easy game since I moved over here, to be honest. Um, obviously, Wraith will be disappointed. They only got a draw last night as well, so they'll want to climb up on the table and push into the playoff spot and take our place. I take it the players are all gutted that they couldn't do, do it today. Yeah, absolutely, especially with the way results last night. I think that's once or twice now this season. We haven't taken advantage when other teams have slipped up. It gives us an opportunity to pull away today if we'd have won to kind of get right back up there. And I think it's probably the second, if not third time, we've let that opportunity slip this season. So it just goes to show the quality of the championship that nobody is out, out, out and making, a, making a run for the title by themselves. So there are two, three, four teams all pushing for that same title. Lee, a disappointing result today and I, I think you wouldn't argue with me when I say the first half in particular was not the style of football we normally play. Absolutely. Last week our first half was possibly our worst half of this, with the season and again there today the intensity was... the. the the difference between the intensity of the first half to the second half was, ob was obvious for everybody to see and that was so frustrating. Um, but even then, as disappointed we were in the first half, there was nothing in the game. I thought... Partick were there for the taking. I've got to. I just sensed it without us playing very well. I just sensed where all the ups and downs that's been going on at that club uh, this week. Um, but we never capitalised on that. We were disappointed. The goal we lost was really avoidable. We don't match runs, and we give a boy a free header in the box. That's so frustrating, and it just shows you the, the small margins in games and the importance of getting the first goal. And that last uh, what twenty odd minutes of the game, when you started to really pile on the pressure, the intensity was there. You'd put on the substitutes. Mm -hmm. It looked like they could do something. Yeah, you could see that Partick were tiring. So three sets of fresh new legs um, really gave us a lift, as they did last week, um, as I've done all season. And um, we obviously had the momentum. The intensity went up, obviously, in the second half. But with intensity, you've got to show composure in, in, the, in the final third in that box. And I don't think we just showed that little bit of composure at the right times today um, to get the goal. Daryl Connor coming on really lit up that far left hand side and some of his crosses and some of his play getting past people really excited the crowd. Yeah, yeah, he did great. He's great in those individual situations. He did the same last week. Um, obviously, we look at decisions. We make decisions on training and reserve games and everything like that. But listen, he's put himself right in the frame. I thought Reese uh, McAleer came on and was excellent as well. And Marky came on and, and really worked his socks off as Marky always does. Um, listen, our subs have always always had a positive impact. They did today. Unfortunately, we never had that little bit of composure in front of goal. That got us the, at least the point. Was it the same thing as you talked about last week, you know, uh, possession for the long parts of it, but not progression? Yeah, yeah, I think there was, but as in Callum, as, if, as every game disappears, obviously pressure goes up and up and up. Um, we as a football club and this group of players, we've not been in this position for such a long time and the opportunity to create history at the club, it builds that pressure. But we're not the only club, because Dundee, obviously, disappointing last night, um, um, obviously Queen's Park uh, dropping points the last couple of games after after the game against ourselves so we are still in it we are still third place it brings Partick and Morton right back into the 
the shout just now. Wraith are just hanging about in the background, obviously. Inverness lost today, which was a surprise again. There's going to be a few results like that between now and the end of the season. And as I say, the, the margins of uh, success and failure are so close in this league. But we've got 12 games to go. We're still in there. Um, we are disappointed, but we kind of get two down because we've still got a job to do between now and the end of the season. Yes, and um, talking to anyone around here about, again, we keep saying it, there's no easy games in this league, uh, and especially if you've got to go up to Wraith on Friday night. Yeah, Wraith are probably the team that's in form at the moment. I think they're 13 games unbeaten. Um, they like to move the ball about. Um, we'll focus on them. We'll figure out where we can hopefully get some advantages. They'll do the same to us. It's a, it's a great game to be involved in. Um, as I say, all they need is a couple of results, and they're right in the melting pot as well because they're just sitting in that mid-table area, not too far away from it. So they'll be hoping to um, get three points next week. Um, we just need to find that uh, little little spark again, uh, get ourselves going. But that's all it takes sometimes. Um, and these boys will come good. Listen, the fans were outstanding today. I know they were disappointed at half time, but they stuck with the boys in that second half, and they, I think they appreciated the effort they put in the second half. But they'll, they'll go away as much as we are, um, as disappointed as we are in relation to uh, the first half, which was ah, it was frustrating.